What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you guys want some cheap MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter for the fastest and most reliable purchase on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we do not have a token market update, guys. No token market update. So, you know what? We're going to go over some token market predictions, some MT methods today. And guys, before we get into it, 100 likes on the video for MT giveaways. And also, we are running an MT giveaway right now on Twitter for 200,000 MT. So, make sure to go on Twitter right now. And go check it out because yeah, we're giving away a hundred thousand MT for free, and I think you guys would not want to miss out on that. So make sure to do that. We're gonna hop into the video, a little rant, a little tiny rant, and then we're gonna get into some MT methods, so and some snipes, whatever. But uh, yeah, no token market update. It is July. It is July 18th, and yeah, there hasn't been a token market update in about two months, guys. So. I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm kind of annoyed because we have a ton of tokens saved up, even though I accidentally did buy John Morant. We have no token market update, in which on Friday, last time they did they did hype up to token market update, they ended up dropping it secretly on a Saturday, in which everyone would thought there was going to be a token market update today. In, in my opinion, guys, I thought there was going to be a token market update today. Now... There is no token market update, guys, which is absolutely insane. I don't understand how there is no token market update at this stage in the game, guys. These packs are literally packs from December. Nobody wants to pop these packs. I have 1,400 tokens. I should have like 2,200 tokens, but I accidentally bought John Morant. But yo, what are some cards we're going to see in the token market update? Definitely some GOAT cards, probably GOAT LeBron, probably a GOAT Giannis. Who knows what we're going to get at this point? I keep saying go Giannis, guys, because Giannis, bro, still has no card with Hall of Fame range. And that is a big part, guys. No Hall of Fame range for Giannis. Last year, his gold card had every single badge, bro. Or he pretty much, not his gold card, but the card that they replaced for AD for gold collector level did have gold range. So, I don't know, man. Hopefully, we see Giannis with Hall of Fame range. It would probably be one of the best cards in the game. But yeah, other than that, man. Let's get into some MT methods. I can't believe there's no token market update. It's whatever though. Let's get into some MT methods. Let's talk about some high roller um, methods. Let's talk about some MT methods. Let's talk about Galaxy Opal methods and whatnot. But yeah, I've been using Kristaps Porzingis glitch. He is an actual manimal, bro. He is so OP for 140k. I'm telling you, 7-3 shooting guard. He is so lanky. He steals so many balls. He has 51 Hall of Fame badges. Let's compare him to Tracy McGrady. Because I don't know why I've been balling out with KP. I went 11-1 yesterday. I lost my one game by two points. Got destroyed in the fourth quarter. Missed open shots. It was tough. But, yo, comparing him to Kristaps Porzingis, guys, it's pretty close, man. Kristaps could shoot pretty much the same. It's definitely a little bit worse on defense. But you guys have to remember the height. The height is a big factor in this game with the glitch cards. And I'm telling you right now, that Porzingis card is absolutely money. That's all I'm going to say. Try to pick up that freaking Kristaps. He's an animal. But, yo, let's go over some methods, guys. Let's go over some filters. Let's go over this and that, this and that, this and that, this and that. Pink time filter, man, still money to this day. Just literally 3,500, 3,900. Consistently refresh. It's a money filter, man. It's supposedly this Kenny Anderson right here, six foot beast. It's supposedly amazing. So, if you guys want to pick him up for cheap, get him right now. Um, there should be a ton of snipes popping up on this filter. Just stay away from Lillard. Stay away from Kenny Anderson. There should be a lot of snipes. Maybe some Paul Georges. Maybe some Giannis's. You never know what's on this filter. Let's get into the next filter, man. Here's another tip. Um, if you guys want to create, like, you could create filters, guys. So, the Northwest filter. <clears throat> it holds Kevin Durant. It holds a lot of players. Maybe this one isn't that good. Let's go over to Southwest. Uh, we got Yao Ming, we got Kawhi Leonard, we got Pau Gasol, we got Dirk, who really isn't that viable, but what I'm saying is, Hakeem, what I'm saying is, guys, if you want to create your own filter, 
Um, it's a very good idea. So let's say you want LeBron James. This one's a very good filter. You could buy out a ton of these cars and just sit on this filter. So that's one method I'm going to say. Let's say you have a mill MT sitting around, which honestly a lot of you guys do at this stage of the game. You want to buy a ton of these cards that are buyable and then just snipe with the enabled filter. You should make a lot of MT. I see a lot of YouTubers doing it. There is a lot of filters. So if you guys want Go Jordan, for instance, I don't even know what he's in. I don't know the conferences or for some reason. But if you want Go Jordan, guys, or if you want to snipe out a Galaxy Opal MJ, let's see which one he is. I think he is... I don't even know what he is. Maybe he's central. I don't even know what division he is in he's the all right so he's central so what you guys want to do let's say we go galaxy opal central so we got lebron in here we got the jordans in here we got the kareems in here we got big z in here paul george Giannis opal this might be one of the best filters in the game profit wise so if i were you man i would probably buy out every single card you see that is buyable and then consistently try to snipe you can get opal you can get like 10 snipes on this filter that go for millions of mt and that's one way I would say make a lot of MT. This is a very good method right here. Very, very, very good method. You also could get, so you get the two LeBrons. You could get a J.R. Smith fully evo Oh, wait, no, you're going to enable him out. You could get uh, a Jordan, a Goat Jordan. You could get Jimmy Butler. No, he's a buyout now. You get Giannis. You could get a lot of things on this filter. So I would definitely recommend this, even Big Z. This filter is pretty solid in my opinion. Pretty, pretty solid. So other than that, man, there's a lot of other tips that I could say in this game right now. Um, there's also another filter, man, Prime Series 3. I pretty much go over this one in every single video just in case there's any newbies here. Prime Series 3, man, LeBron James, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and all that good stuff. Definitely try it out, man. That's all I'm going to say. This filter is pretty, pretty solid. I would definitely try recommend. I, it's a recommendation, man. I would definitely try it out. Small 4 Galaxy Opal Prime Series 3 definitely definitely a good method so i would try that filter out let's see we have a couple other filters man showtime like i said or actually this one i go over this filter way too much but you know what it's worth it man if you get gary payton and sean kemp and then you sit on the thunder filter with enabled you could get kevin durant point guard kevin durant small forward and you get rashad lewis you could also sit on tracy mcgrady you could also sit on lebron james there's a million filters, guys. You could make up your own filter. At this stage in the game, you could pretty much make up your own filter. There's also the new flash. There's also glitched. Um, there's a ton of glitch players that you can snipe out. Uh, another filter, another tip, guys. This is one I like. You could literally go Goat Jordan. Nothing. You go Goat Magic. See if there's anything. Probably nothing. Then you could go Goat Shaq. Probably nothing. Or another option you guys could do is literally just do galaxy opal shack that's all bro that you could literally just do this and just do buyout bro this could be the best method in the game honestly i would sit here all day there's glitch shack there's showtime shack there's uh goat shack so there's three shacks that are literally not viable so whatever you get is going to be a sniper. You don't even have to move the minimum buyout. You could literally sit here all day and just constantly refresh. And if you end up getting a Shaq, you're literally an MT. You're going to make a lot of MT. Not only that, I think if I got code Shaq, I would probably use him for a little bit and then throw him up on the auction or wait till he does die down in price. But yo, Code Shaq is a big W. If you guys get Code Shaq, huge, huge W. There's also, what other gold cards are there? Like I said, you could go through Opal Jordan. You could do the Central Filter. You could go Flash 9 Filter if you want. Boogie's up to a bid, which is crazy. He was literally a buyout yesterday. I actually sold him on for like 90 k If you guys picked up a ton of Boogies, he's now up in price a ton. So there's a lot going on in this game right now. It's completely up to you if you guys want to snipe this, snipe that. There's just a million snipe filters, and honestly... I don't know, man. It's completely up to you. There's a million snipe filters in this game at this point. It's whatever you think is the most consistent. There is a lot of consistency in this game. If you have three mil, man, buy out every opal and just do enable. It's simple. But yeah, other than that, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more content because we 110% have more content coming. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more. Peace.